Hello Excelers and welcome. Thanks for joining me today for another How to Excel at Excel.com Excel tip video. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button below to get notified when there's a new Excel tip available here on my YouTube channel. And if you want to sign up for the How to Excel at Excel newsletter, which gives you three free Excel tips every month direct to your inbox. There's a link below in the description box there. Uh, and when you sign up, you'll get my free ebook, which has got my top 30 Excel tips. Okay, let's get started on today's Excel. Hi Excelers, welcome back to my next video. If you want to read the corresponding blog post to this Excel tip, I'll put the link in the box below. You can click on that and read the blog post. But today what we're going to do is we're going to have a look how to create a list of named ranges that might be in your Excel workbook. So this is really handy if you've inherited a workbook that maybe is a workbook or a spread spreadsheet solution that contains a lot of named ranges. You don't know where they are. This can happen. This can help you map out exactly where they are in your Excel workbook. So back to basics just for a second about what is a named range if you don't know. It's basically a name that can refer to a cell, a range of cells, a constant value or indeed a formula. And then these names can be used to replace a constant value or a cell reference. So if we take a quick example, I have set up already a constant value that I want to use exchange rate and this is in cell B11 and you can see this cell is named B11 is actually got the name exchange rate here or EX underscore RT. So if I wanted to perform a calculation and I wanted to use the exchange rate I can just refer to the name so I can just use the name of that range or cell in the formula instead of referring to cell B11 all the time. So if I wanted to say I can actually just use exchange rate in the calculation instead of B11. If I want to change the exchange rate, that will automatically update. OK. If you've got a lot of named ranges in your workbook, it can better get, get a bit complex keeping track of them. So what I'm going to show you how to do is in a few short steps, how to extract a list of your named ranges. So the first thing we do is we open the name manager dialog and we do that in the formulas tab to find names group name manager. And you can see these ones that are already set up here, including the exchange right there. Alternatively, if you like a shortcut, and a lot of people do, you can hit control F3 and it brings up the same dialog box. So if we look here, we've got a list of our named range, all the named ranges in this Excel workbook, but it doesn't, uh, there's no obvious way to extract them. So there's no obvious way to extract this information. So we've got a permanent reference to it or we can explore it a bit. So the way to do it is we need to use a paste list option and it is this is in the paste name dialog box. So we go to the formulas tab and in the define name group, we select using formula and paste names. So what we do is we stay on the formulas tab in the define names group and it is the use in formula selection drop down that we need uh, with paste names and then all we do is select paste list and that extracts all of the that extracts all of the name ranges that we have currently in the workbook including the exchange rate there which is cell B11. If you like a shortcut and again as I said lots of people do you can just hit up the F3 and then you can select paste list. One thing that you probably need to do is just select the cell where you want your list to be before you either hit F3 or go to your formulas tab, define names group and using formula. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, click the notification bell and you'll be notified the next time I upload and I'll see you next time.